Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. The long holiday weekend is over and it's ready to jump back into things. It's not cute not knowing and now it's time to know, but we got our hug because come on. Between the heat, these damn shootings, what else? The weird weather. It's, it was many people were not able to enjoy delayed flights, the airlines, the weather. I was supposed to be doing this gospel event. It got twice the weather, just completely knocked it out. I said, we'll have to do it next year. It, where I'm from, I'm from Philadelphia, there was a mass shooting. I know there was an incident in D.C. and down in Baltimore and across the country With no set limits on gun control, people will, these guns will fall into the hands of the wrong people and a lot who are mentally unstable. And we see it time and time again. The incident that happened the day before the 4th in Philadelphia was particularly bad. And it was like, who just wakes up and randomly wants to go around shooting people, but hopefully something will be done one day. Singer Faith Evans. Love Faith. She ain't wake up feeling too good today. She married producer Stevie J, who came with the past. Years ago, he dated Eve. Um, he was a big reality star with Jocelyn Hernandez, and they have a child. But there was a time back in the late 90s, 2000s, Stevie J had it going on. Well, he ain't got it going on that much right now. He married singer Faith Evans. No prenup. They weren't even married three years. He did all kinds of things to embarrass her. She's cheating on me and da 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 da. Faith Evans has had to pay one million dollars to get out of this marriage. Hey, where was the prenup? I know you had to have someone who said, baby, you got to sign a prenup. For those who say, oh, that takes the love out. Y'all know people switch up and change out here. Sign a prenup. We can still love each other, but just sign that prenup in case something goes a little wrong, goes a little left, down the line. Protect yourself at all times. One million dollars. And I, I know that Faith wrote a lot of songs, but I was like, turn a million dollars to get this man. She's going to be touring like crazy, but she had to give him a million dollars. This is what happens when there is no prenup. This was the weekend of Essence Fest, and it was streaming on Hulu. A lot of people came out, a lot of great performances. A lot of things centered on the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, and then women. India Irie has spoken out about the climate of women and sexuality, and is it too much? And she singled out Janelle Monae and Megan Thee Stallion. You do have to ask yourself sometimes, why are female acts so everything is just over-sexualized? With Janelle Monae, who is a singer that I, that I like? I don't like this new project. I don't like the Lipstick Lover. I don't like the Age of Pleasure. I, just, I didn't like it. She's doing the most. And in essence, she, she had a little bikini top on and she pulled it up. And she had something on the nipple. But it was something about don't mess with my areola. Now she was trending. And she probably wanted to because like I said, this album is not doing well. You know, at the end of the day, you can do gimmick after gimmick after gimmick. They're looking at album sales and are people buying it. Because I love her acting and I loved her previous projects. Just a big fan. And I know she's going on tour. I think she could be doing a little bit too much, and, it, and it's a turn off. I would love to know your thoughts on that. Do you sometimes look and be like, oh, they're doing too much. They're doing too much to get my attention. 
Insecure, all five seasons, is now streaming on Netflix. Also, the Wham! documentary, it started today. George Michael, Andrew Ridgely, that documentary kicked off today. The Wiz is now streaming on Netflix. The Diana Ross and Michael Jackson um, version, I guess they're getting ready because The Wiz is coming back to Broadway in a revival next spring. Jennifer Hudson and Colin, they got a new movie, Breathe, coming out later this year. They still going strong. You know, we watching you, Colin, because you're a heartbreaker. Don't, be, don't, don't go out here and break Jennifer's heart. NeNe Leakes said she would return, yes, to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she would do it for the fans. NeNe, there's a, there's a saying. This is all time saying. Cut your behind. I think she cut her behind so bad that Andy Cohen and Probable, they don't want her back on the show. Of course she wants to be back on the show because it's money in being on these reality shows. They don't seem to be budging and letting her back, but Nene said she would do it for the fans. Mm, you would do it for that money. And it would be big, but I think a lot of people are tired of the housewives. When I brought up TJ Holmes the other day, I said he didn't seem happy. And I, I know people are saying, I'm tired of the story. But there's a moral to the story. He lost his gig. Amy Robach, this girl going to get a job. But what's TJ going to do? And he hasn't looked happy. And I'm going to tell you why. Because a serial cheater, they love the chase. They love the cheating. They don't want to get caught and tied down because they love the thrill of cheating. She released a statement. We're going to be laying low. No, TJ tired. He going to be getting tired of you. And he, he ready to be out. Zero cheaters don't want to be, you know, clamped down. And he's probably thinking, where am I going to get a job? What's next? She wants them to work together because she can't trust them. She don't want them out of her sight. You know, you got a zero cheater on your hand. You got to watch them all the time, even when they got to do something like take out the trash. But TJ, he does not seem happy and he seems annoyed. Because now he can't cheat. For some, there's a thrill in that. One week from today, Beyonce kicks off the U.S. tour of Renaissance. Boy, she did some shows over in Europe. And from everything that I've seen, and I've seen a lot, I have a little nighttime ritual. When I say, what's happening on the Renaissance tour tonight? It was a big weekend for the Carters because Jay-Z's mom got married to her longtime love. Beyonce stepping out, great pictures and parties. And now... The U.S. tour renaissance kicks off in my hometown of Philadelphia. Also, Usher. Usher doesn't look his age. Usher looks good. And he opens up the Vogue magazine and he even did a video on his skincare routine because men, you should take care of your skin too. It's not just a woman thing. You must cleanse it. You must use some kind of moisturizer. It keeps the wrinkles away. But it was it was really good. You know, Usher is the hottest performer in town. He's got that Las Vegas residency. And I don't know this, but I think this is just me. This is just auntie. He's going to be the halftime performer for next year's Super Bowl. Now, it, it, it may not be. But Usher, think about it. I want to go see him in Las Vegas. It's on my bucket list. Tom Cruise, one week from today. Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. So far, critics who have seen it, they said it's amazing. The stunts are amazing. Tom Cruise is back with the wild stunts and all. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment. Auntie does read the comments. Subscribe to the channel because then you never have to miss a minute of anything that's going on. Thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.